the term MVC is very much popular in the software industry. Then what is MVC? MVC is an architectural pattern that is most widely accepted and used in the software industry. Hi, this is Sahana. Today we are going to discuss what is MVC and how is it related to ASP.NET Code Framework. MVC stands for Model View Controller. Main features of MVC pattern are this breaks the application logic into three main components called model, view and controller and separates the responsibility in such a way that application becomes loosely coupled, thus easily scalable and maintainable. Right now, it may just feel like two lines of statement, but as we start building the application, you will understand it better. Let's quickly create ASP.NET Core MVC application and continue our discussion. I have opened my Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2022 and the ASP.NET Core version is ASP.NET Core 6.0. Here, click on Create New Project. And here you will get different templates. Because we are creating ASP.NET Core MVC application, choose ASP.NET Core Choose ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. Click on Next. And give some good name to your application. Again, click on Next. Here, if you see, the framework version is .NET 6.0. This is the one I'm going to use. Click on Create. We have created new MEC application. This is our application. One thing that you should remember is ASP.NET Core Framework has built-in support for MVC pattern. If you look at the project structure, this is ready to use sample application. Let me just quickly run and show you how the application looks. Right now, this is how our application looks. I'm not going to discuss the project structure now because I have already discussed each and every file and its functionality and role in a separate video and I'll keep the link in the description box as well as you'll get the video at the end screen. Later you can have a look. Right now, let's try to understand MVC pattern and how is it supported in ASP.NET Code Framework. If you look at the project, here we have three different folders, controllers, models and views. We already know that model, view and controller are the three main components of MVC application. If you look at any web application, there will be user interface, there will be data and the application logic which complies with the business rules and there will be some kind of interaction. When we use MVC pattern to design our application, we can build loosely coupled application. View component is responsible for the user interface and model is responsible to deal with the data and application logic and interaction is handled by the controller. This is the beauty of MVC architecture. This is the MVC application that we have created. At the project level, here you can see different folders, controller, models and views. Inside the Inside the controllers folder, there is something called as home controller. And inside the models, you can see errors view model. And views has got two more folders, home and shade. Here, here you can see index.cshtml file and privacy.cshtml file. Let's start with the view file. We know that views are responsible for the user interface. This is the user interface of this application. At the top, you can see there is a home and privacy. At the bottom, you can see the footer and this is the content area. In ASP.NET Core application, views are designed by the Razor pages. Views are independent of the model and controller. And uh, they do not know anything about the business logic or the application logic. They work independently. Just for your information, inside the views folder, we have shade folder. If you expand this folder, here you have 
layout.cshtml file. Uh, this is the file which is responsible to decide the layout of our application. If you look at this file, we have the header section. This is the HTML file. We have the header section, then the content area as well as the footer section. Inside this content area, we have something at render body. You can imagine this as a placeholder. When you click on the privacy tab, the privacy view gets rendered here. This is our application. Right now, we are at the home page. Thus, index view is rendered here. As soon as I click on the privacy tab, rest everything remains same. The header, the footer, everything. Only this particular, this particular section has changed. This is because of the render body. Now, let's try to understand the model. In our application, we have only one model that is error view model. Let me just try to see where all it is referenced. This model is referenced in the error view and another places it is referenced in the home controller. Important thing to know about model is model can supply data to the view but it's not bothered about how the view is going to make use of that data and it is not bound to any specific view. The same model can be used by any number of views. Again, this proves loose coupling. Because now, let's check what we have inside the controllers folder. Inside controller, we have only one controller that is home controller. The name says controller plays very important role in MVC application. This is our MVC application, isn't it? Let's say user clicks on the privacy tab. Then the privacy content should get displayed. Now the question is, which component is responsible to understand this request and deliver the right view to the user? The answer is, this is the job of the controller. If you are a beginner, you may not, if you are a beginner, you may not understand this right now. Don't worry, I'll help you to understand as well as build your own application. But before that, let's try to understand the basics. What is MVC and how is it related to ASP.NET Core Framework and how ASP.NET Core Framework supports this pattern. Just to summarize, we understood what is MVC pattern. We discussed important features of MVC pattern. Next, we understood how this pattern helps to build loosely coupled application by separating the responsibilities and making them independent of each other. And also we discussed that ASP.NET Code Framework has built in support for MVC pattern. Lastly, we built simple ASP.NET Core MVC application using the available template. I hope the session was useful. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video.